friends saw a bumper sticker and it said a little bit hippie a little bit hood and she said Liz all I could think about was you you need that bumper sticker you need that hat you need that shirt you need this in your life and I'm going oh my gosh that's hilarious and um, maybe yeah, I am a little bit hippie and a little bit hood Um, definitely have been called a hippie. Definitely have been asked, where the heck are you from? And it's like, you can take the girl out of Taylorsville, but you can't take the Taylorsville out of the girl. And it's just funny to think about some of the things that I do that are pretty hippie and some of the things that I do that are pretty hood rat. Like hood rat, hood rat, hoochie mama. Welcome to my world. So I made a decision to go vegan and gluten free. Um, it was an interesting process leading up to it. What made me decide to um, choose to do this? I had committed to doing it to 14 days. And back in October, I was out in California and I ate lunch and dinner at this event with different people throughout the week. And a lot of people were gluten free besides me and the Europeans. And so I started kind of looking into it and reading about it and paying attention to when I was actually consuming gluten Every time anything went in my mouth, it had gluten in it. And so I thought, oh my gosh, that would be really, that would be hard. Mad props to all these people who are gluten free. And so I started talking to Mark a little bit about it and just, just kind of like get that clarity piece. Like, is that something really I could do or want to do? I mean, I love some donuts and junk food and fast food and eating out. And like I said, anything that went in my mouth contained gluten. And so Mark went to a doctor's appointment um, and his cholesterol was like really bad. His good cholesterol was bad, his bad cholesterol was bad. And so he thought, you know what, I need to make a change too. So together, we decided to change our diet and I committed to doing it for two weeks, being 100% vegan and gluten free. So once we made the decision to change our eating habits, we got right to business. We it was a Wednesday. We decided, okay, let's do it now. What better time than to start now? Because we could have waited, oh, let's wait till Monday. So many people wait till Monday to start new habits or new routines or set a goal or start the goal that they're set out to do. Same thing, we're at the end of the year and people are saying, January 1st. In January, I'm gonna wait till January. And that allows so much time for you to change your mind. Oh, I don't really wanna do that. Start now. Like if there's something that you wanna do, don't wait until Monday. Don't wait until the new year. Start it now. So I could be considered a little bit hippie. You know, I wear some crystals and my Birkenstocks and essential oils. And I am all about, I am all about peace and love and happiness, but I'm eating healthy, I'm eating clean, I'm doing the, you know, plant-based diet, channeling my inner hippie, but, and I, I honestly, I don't find that fun. Like, I find fun in like, going out to eat and having cocktails and a lot of my entertainment is based around food. And so when I am like eliminating all this stuff, it, it's like, I need to find something else that I, that that I find so much fun in. And I love shooting guns. That is fun. So if I've gotta eat plant-based diet for however long I choose to do it, I need to get some more fun in my life. So shooting guns is where it's at. <laughs>
don't procrastinate. Don't put off what needs done today. Uh, make it easy on yourself. Do something that's fun. Do something that's challenging. Do something that you know that's going to benefit your health and make it a great year. Do, do you, be you, be a hippie, be a hood, be whatever. I'm Liz Medley and I believe in you.